Oh, welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's doing well. And in this video, we're just going to do a comparison of the UT505A insulation multimeter to the other one in the series, the UT505B here. So as you can see, the two meters are pretty much identical from a physical point of view. They have the same layout of buttons and rotary selection switch, same jacks down at the bottom there and the whole meters themselves is all same stand, same rubber holders for the test probes and uh, pretty much identical. The only way you can see from looking at the two instruments from the front is there's a slight difference between some of these buttons and the functionalities. You can see the setup there uh, and the select function on this one and uh, this one has an enter button for the setup but you don't see any of that on the front of the UT505A there. And the biggest factor that you will see is this has a split continuity kilo ohms and a capacitance function after the voltage, whereas the UT505A only has the ohms function. So those are the two meters there. What you get in each of the packages is this little uh, canvas bag, it's an identical bag, uh, little zipper, bit of padding, on the front and back and then a little carry handle here on the side as well and uh, the meter can be held in with elastic restraint there and you've got a little divider for the little compartment for the leads and two elastic straps to hold the leads should you want to use them and as I say both the cases are identical a uh, little single zipper to do them up with uh, test lead wise you get crop clips <clears throat> for the instrument red and black they are identical and you get a set of test probes they also are identical uh, the shrouds do come off to reveal a four millimeter adapter there should you want to put, use that with another accessory and then the leads themselves these are straight jacks at both ends and these are PVC um, and that's what you get with the UT505A there the only other thing you get is a little instruction manual as well. <coughs> so for the UT505B, same case, uh, same layout for it, same crop clips you can see there, the uh, test probes, same test probes again, little shroud on there for the GS38 compliance which can be removed. Um, test leads on this although they are straight jacked and similar these are actually silicon uh, much softer much more flexible test lead more better quality test lead with the UT505B than you get with the UT505A and uh, you can also get the remote probe comes as default with 505B there uh, this will work with the 505A as will the remote probe from the Fluke 1587 as well, uh, but it's included with the B version, but not with the A version. <coughs> and that's what you get in the kits. So both instruments will measure AC and DC volts. We're currently set to AC volts and running a little signal off the DMM check plus here. Uh, you do get the extra decimal place on the UT505B that you don't see on the A. And accuracy spec wise, they're both pretty much the same there. No real significant difference in practice. Um, you can see we're running 5 volts AC on here, 4.97 on the B. Um, we, we do get frequency on the UT505B that we don't get at all on UT505A. Now switching over onto DC uh, again. This is exactly the same setup really, you've got the extra resolution on the 505B um, but the actual accuracy is very very similar on both of them. So moving along onto the next function, this is actually the continuity and ohms combined on the UT505A up to 20 kilo ohms whereas on the UT505B it's purely a continuity function that goes up to 100 ohms the resistance is on the next setting along. Um, you can see this instrument here. Uh, we are on star mode and we should be 3.5 ohms and we've got 3.53 ohms on this instrument. All well and good. 
no issues whatsoever. If you've seen the previous video on the 505B, you know I have a problem with this one, 9.14 ohms. Um, so there is a problem with the continuity function on this. It seems to be on my simulators, but also on some motors. Uh, it appears to resonate on the output. You can solve that with a capacitor across there, but obviously it's uh, you shouldn't really have to do that with a brand new meter, should you? Uh, with regard to the display layouts, you do get uh, current on the UT505B, whereas you display voltage on the UT505A, but it's still a 200 milliamp test function. So that's our continuity function. As I said, on the UT505B, it goes over to resistance, and this will work fine. You can see we get three ohms there. Obviously, it's outside the resolution. You've only got uh, a one ohm resolution on the instrument in kilo ohms mode, and in actual fact, on the UT505A, although it only goes to 20 kilo ohms, it has a better accuracy specification than the UT505B does. However, moving on, on the same function switch, the UT505B does have a capacitance mode there as well that you don't see on the UT505A at all. And that's the basic multimeter functions for each of the instruments. You then move on to the insulation test functions. And what you can actually do on the box that came with the UT505B, you do actually get a little table on the back that shows you what the difference is between the two instruments, especially with regard to the insulation test function. Uh, and you can actually see they all have the same voltage. However, on the UT505B, you get these extended ranges that you don't see on the UT505A. Accuracy wise, you get a slightly better response from the UT505B for the lower settings. However, as you get up to the higher voltages, that switches and you get a slightly better accuracy specification for the UT505A. And you just put this graph up here. This is a comparison of the 500 volt test that I did. Obviously you can see that the UT505A stops at a much lower resistance, but it tends to be fairly accurate. But if you look at the test line for the UT505B, you can see it's got a similar sort of accuracy down across the same range as the UT505A, but then you see that extended range for its test capability, but it starts to lose accuracy in that range. Um, overall, when I did all my testing, the UT505A was 0.34% accurate, and the UT505B is 0.89% accurate, as you can see in this plot here that compares all the insulation testers uh, that I have tested over the years. With regard to the functionality on the insulation test, you do have uh, a comparison function in there, pi and dar, and a time function. Whilst the UT505B does have the same function as that, the pi and dar and time do function in a slightly different manner than they do on the UT505A. You actually get the mega ohm readings whilst this is testing that you don't see with the UT505A and they do cut off at the end of the pi and dar test as well whereas the UT505A you do have to stop manually um, however at the end of the test you do lose the mega ohm resistance and that's just replaced with the actual ratio for the pi and dar whereas, whereas you can see the mega ohm reading and the pi and dar ratio on the UT505A um, on the time function the, the instrument does drop out the same way as the UT505B does. Both of the instruments do have a memory function on them as well. It's very basic. can't remember how many memory slots they have, but I'll put that up on the screen during the edit. Um, so, you know, very basic to use, save and recall for whichever function you're on at that moment in time. Overall, the UT505B has a setup menu that you utilize to set the instrument up before you make the measurements, whereas this instrument here you can kind of set up straight off this front screen you don't have a setup menu to go through so it's slightly simpler in operation there so that's the two instruments there themselves I guess it's time to talk prices uh, I put this little table up these prices are current to the beginning of this week for where I found where I can get them from predominantly in the UK slash Europe 
Um, you can see that uh, for Amazon, you can get both the instruments from, and from eBay, you can get both the instruments from, probably a slightly better price uh, for eBay at this current moment in time, but that can change very quickly. Uh, the other places that can supply both the instruments, they are within Europe themselves. Uh, Distrelect there is the most expensive, but it can provide both of them. You get a slightly better price from TME. Um, and then there's Unity Europe itself. I guess they're just the standard manufacturer's prices that they do. Uh, and then you move to shops that can just supply the UT505A. Uh, which is Tester there, which uh, I bought the UT505A from Tester and the UT505B from Unity Europe through Amazon. Uh, but say Tester there is a UK-based instrument supplier. They can supply at a reasonable price. Um, Switch Electronics is a, a very good price. Uh, that seems to be the best price I can find at the moment. And then uh, L-Shop also supply it that's another european based supplier uh, the ut505a it's worth noting that this is rebadged in the uk by test instrument solutions um, you can usually buy those instruments from cef it comes as the tis 1835 uh, it looks exactly the same from the pictures i don't know if they've changed the way the meter operates sometimes they do play around with those kind of things uh, recommended retail on that is £250 on the CEF website, so it is actually quite pricey in comparison to purchasing it as the UT505A. Um, also worth noting at the bottom of the table there is the remote probe. You can buy that separately uh, as it doesn't come with this instrument uh, from eBay. It's £25 to £35, seems to be a variation of the price there. Um, so that's the two instruments there. Uh, for me personally, I would go down the UT505B route because it gives me much more extended range with the insulation test function and I prefer the way the Pi and DAR do operate. Um, there is the issue with the continuity that you can sort out with a capacitor. As I showed in a previous video, um, probably what I should do is break these both open at some point and see if there's a difference between the two circuits because it's strange that this doesn't have any issue with the continuity function when I've tested stuff, I've only seen it on this instrument here. Um, we do have a bit of a curious scenario with the insulation test function tending to read higher than a lot of the other instruments I've got. It doesn't bother me too much because if you get faults on machines that you're testing, that fault will have a resistive characteristic and not uh, an inductive or capacitive characteristic. So the meter will always pick up faults it just seems to give you a better insulation value than what it might actually be. However, if you're testing with the same instrument every time, that shouldn't really be an issue. You'll still see the trend with that, which you can see with the extended range on the UT505B that you don't get on the UT505A there. So that's my take on the two instruments. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you found the video useful, and I'll see you again in the next one.